Hi friends, this is Dave of javacodejunkie.com and welcome back to another Java Swing video tutorial. In this episode we're going to examine the Action Listener class. Action Listener is an interface that allows you to listen for and receive Java Swing action events. An action event indicates that a component defined action has occurred. For example, a button has been pressed and an object that implements this action listener interface will be notified when that action event occurs. Let's look at an example. I've already created a new Java Swing project with our default frame object. I'm also going to create several other instance variables that we're going to use in this demonstration of the action listener. I'm going to define a JPanel. a J label, and a J text field. And a J button. Let's go down to our initialize method and instantiate those objects. Panel equals new J panel. Label equals new J label. And the label I'm going to give it the text. Enter your name. Text field equals new J text field. And I'll give that the column length and a J button. Button equals new J button. And on the button, I'll have the word save. Now, if you recall from our J panel video, the default layout manager for a panel is flow layout. So all of our components that we add by default will be in a layout from left to right. So let's add our label, our text field, and our button to our panel. Panel.add label panel.add text field and panel.add button. We'll now add the panel to our J frame. And if you recall from J frame video, the default layout manager for a J frame is border layout. Border layout has five sections, north, south, west, east, and center. And we'll now add the panel to the center area of our J frame. Frame dot add panel border layout dot center. Let's also change the title. Action listener demo. And let's run the program to see what we have so far. We have a J frame with the J panel. The J panel contains a label, a text field, and a button. We can enter text into the text field. We can click on the button, but nothing happens. When we click on a button, an action event is generated. But nothing is happening in our program because no one's listening for that action event when the, button, when the button is clicked. So what we have to do is add an action listener to one of our components so that we can execute some code when the save button is clicked. There are a number of different ways to do this. First, I'm going to show you how to add an anonymous inner class to a button that is a listener for the action event. Button dot add action listener. And it expects something of type action listener. First, I'm going to create an anonymous inner class, new action listener. We'll import the action listener, and then we'll add the unimplemented method, which is action performed. So this is the method that's called or executed when someone clicks on the button. And for now, I'm just going to do a sysout 
to our Eclipse console and say button clicked. Let's run the program. We'll click the save button and we see down in the Eclipse console button clicked. So the code was executed when the button was clicked. So that's one way to listen for an action event on a button. Let's comment this out and then I'll show you another way to add an action listener. What I'm going to do now is make the entire main frame listen for action events. So I'm going to have main frame implement the action listener interface. Implements action listener. You'll see now that there is an error under mainframe and it says add unimplemented methods. And the unimplemented method now is add now is add the still the same action performed method. Again, I'll copy and paste the line of code that says button clicked into the action performed method in our mainframe class. Now in order to make this work, I now have to register mainframe as a listener to our button. And here's how we do that. Button dot add action listener. The component that we're going to add this time is our mainframe class. And when we're in our mainframe class, we specify the class with the keyword this. And this being the mainframe class is an action listener since we've said that mainframe implements action listener. So the mechanics of this are someone clicks on the button. The button says I'm going to notify everyone that's interested in my button click. And since we've registered mainframe as a listener to the button for the action event, event mainframe will be notified. And when mainframe is notified, the action performed event in mainframe will be executed. So let's run and test it. Click on the save button and we get the same button clicked as before. So let's just change our action performed method so that when we click on the button, we actually take the value that was entered into the text field and display it in the system console. So we're replacing the button clicked in our system.out.print line. We'll say text field dot get text. Let's run. And now when we enter a name, and click on save, the name that we entered into the text field is actually displayed in the system console. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any future videos when I release new content. I appreciate you hanging out with me today, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, stay safe and keep on coding.